What's up, Virgo, kings, queens, and everything in between? I am Austria of Unbothered Queen, and today I will be channeling the collective of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, and Mercury in regards to a general 10-day forecast for the 29th through the 7th. Please keep in mind that the time frame is specifically for me, and whenever you see this message, that is when you are meant to see it. It could be past, present, or future. All right, if it resonates, please, please, please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. It really does help me out. If if it doesn't, check out your other placements, Moon Rising, Venus, and Mercury, okay? Goodness. All right, so I'm not going to take these because they fell off the table, but I am going to say blessings and willpower. So, maybe some of you feel like um, you don't have willpower or someone else doesn't have willpower, so they blocking their fucking blessings, okay? <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay. Let's see. All right, so we got the truth here. All right. We got commitment here. And then we got healing. Wow. So you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Capricorn for some of you. Um, we also got answers at the bottom and forgiveness. So I feel like some sort of truth is going to come out, um, especially because justice here. You could be dealing with a Libra. Some sort of truth is going to come out and you're going to be um, in a place to either give forgiveness or you're going to be trying to get some forgiveness here. All right. Um, they're definitely like, like, listen, anything that happens in the dark always comes to light. That shit is just karma right there. Okay. Um, but yeah, I feel like that, that's the situation. Some truth is coming out, which is making a relationship a bit challenging, but I feel like you guys are going to be able to kind of heal from this, going to be able to move forward, or you're going to choose to move on without this person and heal yourself, baby. All right, let's see. Let's see here. Thank you, Spirit, for clearing concise messages. Thank you. Let's see. Give me more here about truth here, Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Give me more about truth here. All right, so we got focus, eyes for you, fascinated watching. Oh, shit. All right. We got insatiable, unquenchable, wanting more. Locked down, mental, prison, confined. I'm getting in some sort of third party situation, right? I feel like somebody, um, that somebody was hot and heavy with, this could be you or this could be your person. Um, like, somebody is like obsessed here now and somebody is interested in telling shit. Somebody want to snitch, okay? Listen, can't make this shit up, all right? okay so it may be a kid involved like maybe this is the situation maybe this person has gotten pregnant or you have gotten pregnant or something like this um and that's you know that's what's going on for some of you this is the energy of like you possibly um this person reconciling with somebody that they have a ch child with um, or them dealing with somebody that they have a child with and, you know, something that was very fucking toxic and now this person is wanting to fucking come tell your ass. Mm, 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 mm. Come on, let's see. Give me more here, spirit. Give me more. All right, so we got, see what I'm talking about? What the fuck? Realization, awareness, finally coming out, coming to light. What the fuck did I say, yo? Didn't I say that that's what well was making the relationship hard? Happiness, wholeness, overjoy, smiling. Mm, mm, mm. Roller coaster, highest high adrenaline rush. So I feel like you have ups and downs with this person. And this is going to be another one of them ups and downs. Okay. We got recalling, reminiscing, memories returning, cleansing, me mediate. I'm sorry meditation clearing space removing negativity so a lot of you are trying to leave all memories of this person you're tired of thinking of this person you don't want to think of this person no more for some of you it could be some sort of obsession or somebody is obsessed with your person here all right let's see give me more here about the healing give me more here about the healing thank you thank you 
All right, so we got a journal, writing, diary, keeping notes. So maybe that's a helpful, um, like, you know, a helpful part. I'm here in therapy for whatever the reason. But for you to, like, write down your feelings or be able to express yourself to this person in, you know, um, written form. We got family, blood ties, and our circle. So, like I said, a lot of you could have some sort of familial situation with this person. And this is why you're going to put forth the effort to kind of heal this relationship. Yeah, even though you're embarrassed here. Yeah, threatened, embarrassed appearances. And like I said, take it as it resonates because for some of you, this could be your person's energy if this is you, you know, doing this shit. All right, so we got today, present, now, in the moment. And then we got denial, not facing truth, irrational reasoning. Yeah, I see karmic, third-party relationship lesson. See what I mean? And I feel like somebody is not being honest. Like, even if you didn't call them, even if you didn't found out everything, somebody's still fucking lying. That shit is annoying as hell. Like, baby, I'm not asking no questions I don't know the answer to. Who the fuck does that? That shit is weird. Nobody is doing that, I promise you. Nobody is asking you questions that they don't already know the answer to it, I promise. All right, let's see. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. We're playing concise messages. Give me more about this here. Give me more. Oh my gosh. Y'all been getting hella fucking cards coming out, okay? So we got um, tulips here. Maybe that's some of your, like, favorite flower, or maybe this is your person's favorite flower or something, but in this energy, this is not good. I feel like some sort of negative message here. Yeah, see, look. Then we got the motherfucking writer, right? And that's about a negative message. Something is coming out that's gonna, like, bring some sort of ending here. You see what I'm saying? Despair and then pathway, right? It's bringing some sort of ending or, uh like sadness to some sort of uh like divine union here with with this pathway card all right because that's like 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 my twin flame energy here okay all right yeah privileged lady here and child again so again i'm getting like this could be like i feel like somebody was privileged in this situation um like do you like Somebody could possibly be dealing with somebody younger that they could have possibly gotten pregnant here um, in secret here um, or someone has a secret child here. I'm also getting like somebody feeling like maybe you're privileged. Mm, okay. All right, let's see. All right, let's see. Give me more here. I feel like somebody coming up to you and like saying your name and talking to you like they know you, but this because they know your person or something, or they reaching out on social media, acting like they know you, but they don't know you. And I don't know if it's like coming to you as a, like I'm coming to you as a woman type shit or what. That's weird anyway. Like don't come to me as no fucking woman. Oh, shit. How many? All right, so we got thief here and gift. Yeah, see? It's like somebody's stealing your, like, trying to steal your life or trying to steal, you know, what was meant for you. Because, like I said, it's like a divine connection. And somebody's trying to come in and take it from you, right? Take this person from you. This divine you know, your divine counterpart from you. That's the gift. <sighs> I feel like somebody was playing games and got something that they didn't like got something that they didn't want mm. 
because I definitely feel like for some of you there is some sort of like pregnancy scare or something here okay let's see All right, yeah, see, somebody wants your life, baby, okay? Because we got a house here in the reverse. Somebody wants your life. Wealthy man in the reverse. Like, maybe your person has money or something like this. Or at least it's what they thought. They thought your person had money, but really it's you that have money. And this is not, like, like the sexes, the sexes don't matter. For some of you, um, it's a, it's a, it's like an energy. Like, well, shit, I'll take all your money if you want to be, if you want to listen, you want to be froggy, you want to be doing all this stupid shit. I'll take all your money in the house. For some of you, you and your person have an age difference. You could be dealing with the Gemini here. It's also an energy where I feel like somebody is going to reach out to, like, like I said, coming to you as a woman or some shit. Like, they're going to be thinking about you, thinking about a message that they could send you. Talking about some they're concerned or some shit, but they not concerned. Because I feel like by the time that you get their, inf get their message or get some information from them, your ass already knew. Like, you're going to already figure it out or your person going to already tell you what's up. Because they know, because this person was fucking um, threatening them, telling them that they was going to tell you, don't make me tell your husband, don't make me tell your wife type shit. Okay. All right, give me more here, spirit. Thank you. All right, we got the Ace of Swords here. It could be dealing with the Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. The Devil here. Yeah, see, Capricorn energy. Yep. And then the Ten of Pentacles, your energy. So there's definitely going to be some sort of conflict about somebody being weak as fuck, stepping outside of this relationship, having some sort of temptation here that is involving like your your like status or your uh family situation for some of you that your part like somebody could have dealt with somebody at your job or something like that we got justice here and the star like this truth it could be dealing with an aquarius or, or a libra but this truth is going to make um it's going to make you feel like you're unable to be optimistic about this okay then this is why despair is here this is definitely going to put you in that 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 space, right? Of hopelessness, of I got to stop this. Because for a lot of you, you could have known this person for quite some time and you would have just never thought that this person would have done you like this or would have done this to you. Like you've had a lot of like a long time with this person. Give me more here, spirit. Give me more here. We got the Knight of Swords here, Capricorn energy as well as Aquarius. Somebody is fucking obsessed with you, Joe. All they do is think about you. The Moon card. Cancer energy. And then the Sun card, Leo. Which is more of like this energy. So I feel like somebody feels like if they... Um, it's like they're feeling like they can tell you this information or like somebody's obsessively wanting to you know uh, tell you what's going on or whatever this case because they think that they've developed some sort of master plan and if they tell you these fucking secrets they're gonna have your life they're gonna have your happiness right or they're gonna get great abundance from trying to steal your person from you right yeah trying to hurt you they think that if they can um you know, they can bring this love to them. If they can end your relationship with the world card, they can have your love, right? But that's not how it works because it's your love for a reason. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces. All right, let's see. 
And I feel like somebody is like really like kind of like devious, you know, like really trying to like form some sort of plan so that they can get you or so they can get your person or some shit. I also feel like it's a sense where this person, either your person is in and out of your life or this person, the only reason they coming towards you is because this person, your person does not uh, show like a lot of interest in them like that, right? It's like they'll come, they'll be dealing with them for a little bit and then they'll be like, yeah, no, nah, me and my, me and my main person, we're good now. I don't, you know, I don't need to do this with you or whatever. And then they'll like, get away from this person and then they'll start fucking threatening your person or whatever and that's the only reason why your person keeps dealing with them because they were trying to keep you know the the peace mm. Mm -mm -mm. all right let's see all right so we got the two of cups here we got the nine of wands here. And we got the four of cups. So I feel like, you know, a lot of you are in a place where, um, yeah, I feel like do you love this person and you want to try to make it work with this person even though that they fucking done some really fucked up shit to you. Um, but it's a sense of like, you have a duty to this, you have an obligation, that's what I'm getting. Like, yeah, we can make this work, but you're, you're kind of like mentally checked out though you're not really focused you know the love is there you do love this person but what they did is really fucked up and you're it's kind of hard for you to get over that like just like that and and focus on fixing this relationship yeah see eight of cups um with the high priestess it's like you know, a lot of you are in your head a lot, you know, because you're trying to think if you want to stay in this, you know, you're, you're trying to think if this is something that you really want to do, or if you need to walk away from this person for some time, but you're not really saying nothing about it right now. You kind of just moving with the flow because a lot of you are thinking like, shit, maybe I need to walk away from this. Maybe I need to just let this be it, you know, and release this person to have a new beginning elsewhere. Like let, let this shit be dead. All right, let's see. Let's get some messages here for you. Let's see what we have here for you, Virgo. Thank you, Spirit, for coming concise messages for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury. Thank you. All right. So we got enjoy your extra extraordinary uniqueness it says do you know what you've created no besides an intergalactically known saunter named after you inspiration in the eyes of that in the eyes that have watched you hope in the minds that have admired you and love in the hearts that have known you but you might ease up on your sachet before someone gets hurt not bad kiddo not bad at all the universe so i feel like this is that energy where it's like somebody that um this is somebody that admires you for some of you this could be somebody that you know who was dealing with your person like this is somebody that just like this is why they want your life because they've been like close close to it like you see what i'm saying all right, Virgo. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's see what signs y'all dealing with. Let's see. Let's see. All right, so we got Cancer. We got Sun, Leo energy. We got Pluto, Scorpio energy. We got Saturn Capricorn energy. Then we got again Scorpio energy. Some of y'all dealing with somebody with the letter S. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. I send it back to you guys tenfold, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.